Hi, I'm Anthony Ward and welcome to this tutorial. What we're going to cover in this video is my process for painting hair. Now this video is intended as a follow-up to my skin painting tutorial, which basically takes the same um, video recording that you're seeing now, but the whole focus for that video is painting the skin, you know, the different tones and lighting and shading. Um, we then skip over the hair painting in that tutorial because I wanted to create a separate one uh, which just focuses purely on the hair and that's what you're going to be watching now. What you can see before you is my current sort of workspace. I'll just briefly go over sort of how I have that set up. So I have a main canvas in the middle, my brushes uh, I have those to the lower left so that I can easily access them. Above that I have the reference photo which I'll, again I can just quickly glance at and refer to. And then over on, my, on the right I have my layers and also the navigator which shows sort of a, a thumbnail version of the whole canvas. So you can get a good idea of how things are looking from a uh, zoomed out perspective while you're uh, focusing on painting like the smaller details. Now, even though I'm using Photoshop and I primarily work on the Wacom Mobile Studio Pro, the techniques that I'm going to be sharing can be used on any uh, device or in any sort of application. So don't worry about trying to follow along with uh, Photoshop if you don't have it or if you're not working on a Wacom product. So as you can see, I've started off by just blocking out one section of the hair, uh, just using sort of a mid-range colour. Um, but you'll notice I've separated the hair into workable chunks. I'm not trying to do everything at once. I find that far too complicated. I like to just focus on one area at the time. So in this instance, I'm just working on sort of the main sort of, well, the main curl that comes over the side of her hair. So I've laid down the base colour and now I'm just using a one of my hair brushes that I've got just to sort of roughly get in some strands. Now just picking a lighter colour, just going in and painting those in just to sort of dictate the flow of where the hair is going. So what I've done next is I'm creating a clipping mask which is restricted to the uh, the layer that I just added which has those hair strands, uh, those rough hair strands painted on. And well to create a clipping mask I've just uh, used just select alt, select the layer below um, and then that will restrict any painting you do to the pixels that are painted on that layer. So in this instance as you can see it's allowing me to sort of add darker and lighter areas just to those strands that we painted below before. So now I have a re really rough layout to start working with. I know roughly where the sh shadows are roughly where the highlights are, I can start using a finer brush and just dragging in and start painting in some of the finer details. And you'll notice that I'm using the smoothing tool quite a lot as well. I find that really useful when you're trying to paint hair. You know, you can drag uh, and paint a long stroke and the smoothing tool will go in and it will soften that curve for you. So the finer strokes weren't really doing it for me at this stage because I, I still feel like we need to get some more of that sort of bolder detail in. So now I'm just going back to using my soft brush and I'm just blocking in some of the uh, larger sort of shadow areas that you can see on top of her hair. So I'm just speeding the video up a bit now. But as you can see, I've just started to go back and experiment again with that finer brush, just painting in a few strokes, just to see how it's looking. You know, I tend to experiment with different hair, depending on what I'm working on. 
So now I'm finding that maybe painting it a stroke at a time isn't, you know, being as efficient as it can be. So I'm just experimenting with a different brush, going back to the hairbrush um, that I used originally. So now I've got those darker strokes in using the, the uh, hairbrush, I can then go back to my uh, original uh, fine brush and start to work in a bit more, um, a bit more defined sort of hair shapes and strokes. So I switch to a lighter colour now and I'm just doing the same, just repeating the process of just painting in those different strands of the hair, um, just adding in a little bit of contrast. And I do find while working on the hair, it's about layering up the different levels. So you just keep working on it and working on it, adding in lots of different layers. And this sort of builds it up to make it look like uh, you, you've got quite a lot of hair there and it's quite a complex uh, um, area.